Yes? Hello there, Percy. Say, remember that time where you didn't listen to that danger sign over there and fell into the sea? Remember the time you ignored a danger sign and fell down a mine? Huh. Touché. One day, Henry wanted to rest, but Percy was talking to some engines. He was telling them about the time he had braved bad weather to help Thomas. It was raining hard. Water swirled under my boiler. I couldn't see where I was going, but I struggled on. Oh, Percy, you are brave! Well, it wasn't anything, really. Water's nothing to an engine with determination. Tell us more, Percy. What are you engines doing here? Hissed Henry. This shed is for Sir Topham Hatt's engines. Go away. Silly things, Henry snorted. They're not silly. Percy had been enjoying himself. They are silly, and so are you. Water's nothing to an engine with determination. Huh. Anyway, said Cheeky Percy, I'm not afraid of water. I like it. He ran off to the harbor singing. Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. No one ever lets me forget the time I wouldn't come out of the tunnel in case the rain spoiled my paint, huffed Henry. Thomas was looking at the board on the key. Danger. We mustn't go past it, he said. That's orders. Why? Danger means falling down something, said Thomas. I went past danger once and fell down a mine. I can't see a mine, said Percy. He didn't know that the foundations of the key had sunk. The rails now sloped downward to the sea. Stupid board, said Percy. He made a plan. One day, he whispered to the cars, will you give me a bump when we get to the key? The cars had never been asked to bump an engine before. They giggled and chattered about it. Driver doesn't know my plan, chuckled Percy. On, 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 laughed the cars. Percy thought they were helping. I'll pretend to stop at the station, but the cars will push me past the board. Then I'll make them stop. I can do that whenever I like. Every wise engine knows you cannot trust freight cars. Go on, go on, they yelled and bumped Percy's driver and fireman off the footplate. Ow, said Percy, sliding past the board. Percy was frantic. That's enough! Percy was sunk. You are a very disobedient engine. Percy knew that voice. Please, sir, get me out, sir. I'm truly sorry, sir. No, Percy, we cannot do that till high tide. I hope it will teach you to take care of yourself. Yes, sir. It was dark when they brought floating cranes to rescue Percy. He was too cold and stiff to move by himself. Next day, he was sent to the works on Henry's freight train. Well, 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 chuckled Henry. Did you like the water? No. I am surprised. You need more determination, Percy. Water's nothing to an engine with determination, you know. Perhaps you will like it better next time. Percy is quite determined that there won't be a next time. Hello all and hello there. I, my name is Nate the Man. I will be your credits reader for this production. The prologue, of course, was by Nathan Reviews and Clip One by Tell Mum. 
Plus two by Abraham Productions. Three. Clip three by Marin Station. Clip four by Tired Edward. Clip five by CTTE06. I don't know if that's an O or a zero. It could be either, but I'm just gonna go on. Clip two by Bunny Bendel. Clip seven by Percy is here. Clip eight by Blue Bell Bell. Clip 9 by Mr. WW-J. Clip 10 by Guster Pro 2022. Clip 11 by Edward Toby Fan 21. Thomas voiced by Jack Train. Percy voiced by Percy is here. Prologue script by Percy is here. Prologue music from the original show. Intro from the original show by Mike O'Donnell and Jigger Kimbell. And of course, the credits read by me. And a special thanks to you for watching. Good night and enjoy your day. Why are you number? Hey, thanks for sticking around after the credits. I just want to give a huge thank you to everybody who was featured in this video. You all have made these past few years of my life amazing. Now, since it's my birthday, I have to go do some personal stuff with my family. So see ya, losers.